One of the benefits to using Schoology is how well it integrates with OneDrive. So if you are using your OneDrive account to store documents and worksheets and things that you're going to be using for, with your students, you'll be able to attach these to a number of different materials within Schoology. OneDrive assignments can be attached to assignments. They can be attached to pages and some of the other um, options that you see here as part of materials. For this purpose of this demo, we're going to add it as part of an assignment. Now, the OneDrive Assignments app is probably already available to you, but if not, just so you know where it is, up in the toolbar of Schoology, there is your App Store up here. And when we click on the App Store, it's going to list a whole bunch of apps that integrate with, One, with Schoology. So this is the Schoology App Center. And if we scroll down, you're going to see two different apps that are associated with OneDrive. You can see one here called the OneDrive Resource app, which is a different app, which we're going to show in another video. But if we scroll down, there is another OneDrive app called OneDrive Assignments. And what this is allows the user to do is it allows you to attach a document from OneDrive, and let's say it's a worksheet or something that you want the students to fill out, attach it to an assignment, and what it does is it generates a copy for each student that is in your Schoology course so that they can complete this worksheet without making any changes to your original. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to use this. I have already installed it, so there's no need for me to do anything. So we're looking at my sixth grade math course, and we're first going to figure out a location for this particular assignment. So let's say this is part of our June work, so I'm going to click on the caret next to our June folder. And you can see as I move my cursor in between each one of the already existing assignments or tests and quizzes, there's a little dotted line that will appear. That's going to allow you to add a new piece of material to a course in a very specific location. So let's say I want to add this to the very end of my June folder. I'm going to hover until I see a line below my last assignment and I'm going to click and then I get the options to add material. So I'm going to add a new assignment and the new assignment box is going to pop up and it's going to give you all different options to fill out so that you can give directions to your students as to what they're supposed to be doing as part of this particular assignment. So I filled out some of the information for my students. I've given this assignment a name and then I have given some instructions and a description. Um, what they're going to be doing is watching a video about ratios and then they're going to be completing a worksheet that I'm going to attach that is stored in OneDrive. So you can see here, because I already have the OneDrive Assignments app already installed, it is an option that's already available to me. So all I need to do to gain access to it is to click on this button, and it's going to prompt me to go into Microsoft OneDrive. If this is the first time you are using OneDrive with Schoology, you may get prompted to log in with your Office 365 credentials. But once you're in, you will see all the files and folders that you have in OneDrive, and you're just going to navigate to the document that you want the students to actually work on and complete. So I'm going to go into my sample worksheets, and I'm going to click on this ratios document. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click attach. So you can see this document is now attached. This is a ratios worksheet that the students are going to complete. You'll notice it gives you instructions over here. This will create a copy of your file for each student. So this will be part of the assignment and the students will be able to click on this and work on it and they will be able to submit this as part of their assignment. The rest of the information you're going to fill out, a due date, whether this has a particular point value, the category that this is going to be put in. If you do want this assignment to show up in your calendar, you do need to put a due date in here. And any other information that you feel you need to fill out, and then you're going to click Create. So now if we scroll down and we go click on the carrot next to our June month, you can see here we have the new assignment. And when the students click on it, they will get the information that they need to complete this assignment. They will get instructions. They will see the video here. And then they will also see the document that has been attached that they will be able to fill out and submit as part of their assignment. 